On today's Two Minute Tuesday, Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to talk about creating a false lid for your cooler. So what is a false lid? A false lid is really just another lid or another top on the inside of the cooler that is below this one. So that when you open your cooler up, you've got another layer on there that is going to hold all of that cold air and cold ice down in that cooler. So I bought a uh, windscreen, one of those uh, wind um, protection, sun protection things from the auto parts store. This is a, one of the nicer ones. It was like $8. But it's got the bubbles and it's a little bit more insulated than just those little sheer cloth ones. And so we're going to take this and we're going to cut it up and we're going to put it inside of here and create the false lid with this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get a piece of cardboard and I'm going to cut the cardboard to this shape so then I can use it as a template and put it onto here. Nice. That'll be perfect. Okay, so now I'm just going to open this guy up. It's obviously already too long, so I'm going to have to cut it down in all the dimensions. Um, and the corners are too large, so you can see right here that the corners are too large, so I'm not even going to use those. So I'll probably just center this up and go here. I am considering, and I think I'm going to double this direction so I can fold it and get it twice as thick. Um, so I'm going to line this up. I'm just going to... Give me a line here, give me a line here. Let's push this along. All right, there we go. Template is laid out. I'm just gonna check some uh, dimensions real quick. So it's about four and a quarter. And right about four and a quarter. Nice. All right, so now that I've drawn the outline, this is one's double the length, so I can fold it over. I'm gonna do this cut. I just started cutting right here, um, just to get a feel for it with these scissors. It doesn't cut the best, but it does definitely work. So I'm just gonna cut along here, and just keep cutting all the way across. Ooh, I can slide it. Now I'm going to cut up. So here we go. Now we got it doubled up, fold over, and that'll be our top, our false top. So I curved the corners back here so it fits nice and snug. It's a little tight on this edge because it's folded over. If it was one layer, it probably would fit a little bit better. Why do you want to do this? So the benefit is, so when you lift your lid up, it still holds almost all that cold air down inside of there. And then you, what you can do is you can just pull up a corner and you can just reach in and you can grab whatever you want. And you don't have to let all the cold air on the whole thing come on out and explode and lose all that cold air. Right? So what we do is we just can set this on top. It'll just be a simple cover. I might corner these as well. I wonder how that would work. I might try that. Um, and, but it does fit in there now rather nice and you can just shut the lid up like normal and it all works out. Um, there are a few things to look for when you're getting a cooler that will help like the gasket that will help hold it in. Insulated lids. I've noticed that a lot of the coolers out there don't have insulated lids. And so uh, getting one that has an insulated lid is gonna help you big time. But this helps great, this helps really well. And one of the things that I do sometimes is if I don't fill my cooler all the way up and it only gets like halfway up, I can take one of these and I just shove it down inside of there. And then that really holds that air in. And then I don't, I'm, the cooler's only working on trying to fill this much space, just a little bit of space there. And then it has all this that's just sort of no man's land, a middle, another void of, you know, an insulating layer. Also a trick that I do with this, um, when I have the, the, it's so far deep inside of there is I will have the ice and my food and some, the goodies down here, and then I'll push the layer down and then I put the beer on top because the beer doesn't need to be in the ice. And it actually, to, in my 
favor. It doesn't need to be down near zero or you know uh, 32 degrees. Um, in the and this area gets inside of the 40s, maybe low 50s, um, and that's plenty cold for me. And then I can have you know the beer right here on top. I can reach in, I can grab my beer, and it's not having to lift it up out of the the food and everything that I'm trying to keep cold and trying to keep that ice there. So I hope you like that little trick, that little hack, just getting these little insulating layers that will help hold that ice level down. Um, if you like this or if you have another suggestion of a topper, please put a comment down below. Um, hammer down on that subscribe button and don't forget, keep crawling.